Here is your host, Dynamics 365 goddess herself, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So Microsoft just keeps adding these new co-pilot or AI features. And in this particular video, I want to talk about form filling assistance in model driven app. What that means is that Copilot can actually enter suggestions for users when they're trying to enter a record inside of Dynamics 365 or if they try to update one. Let's go and see what that looks like. So first, let me show you the functionality here in this model driven app. And then once I've done that, I will show you where you can enable this. And I will talk about some of the gotchas as well. So you can see here that I have several leads that I already entered earlier today with the same information, right? The company name is the same. The address is the same, etc. And you can also see that I've already entered a lead but I haven't entered any of the remaining information. So I'm going to go ahead and open this lead and you should see on the top of the screen here. There we go. The suggestions that are AI generated right by Copilot. So if I scroll down a bit further, you can see all the suggestions here, right? You can see there's a blue outline for each of those columns, right? Where the data lives in. And then if I scroll back a little bit further, you can also see that the font color is a little bit lighter than the rest, right? So what I can do from here is I can say, uh, I accept all of these suggestions, or I can go ahead and just click on the checkbox for the suggestions that I want to accept, right? By just clicking on that. The other thing I can do is I can just click into that and then backspace that if I, if I'm not interested, or I can just start typing over it. Sweet 200, right? And that will store that data in there, obviously after I save that. Now, if I'm not going to save the record or if I'm going to save the record and there's still, as you can see, suggestions here, then what I can do or what you'll see is right. This little pop-up window. So it's saying there's still suggestions on your form, right? And if you leave now, then the suggestions will be discarded, right? And the fields are going to be left blank. So I can cancel and go back and review a little bit more of those suggestions in that form, or I can just go ahead and say, I'm going to continue anyways, and I'm not going to save any of that data. So you saw earlier that I actually just started that from an existing record inside of Dynamics 365, but it also works if I create a new lead record, right? So I'm going to click here on new. And as you can see, there's less suggestions right now. I only see my topic. Let's see if there's more below in the company information, but there's less suggestions here. So a couple of things I want you to note, right? You noticed that I actually needed to pull up the main form, the full form for this to work, right? So let me just go ahead and now try this uh, by using a quick create form. If I click here on leads, you'll notice that those suggestions do not pop up in those quick create forms, right? So it's only using the main forms for that table. The second thing I want you to be aware of is that this feature is currently, even though it is GA, this feature is currently still rolling out through different regions. And this region that I tested it out is actually my Canada region. And I also tested this in my North American region and it seemed to be working there. So um, obviously it has to be rolled out in your region. Then the other thing that you have to be aware of is that you have to have this new look enabled. If you're trying this and you don't have the new look enabled, um, it's not going to work. You're not going to see those suggestions pop up. The other thing I wanted to mention is that there needs to be enough historical data of records that were added by the user that had 
identical information in the columns. That's why I kind of showed you uh, this list of leads, right? I was entering the same information in the company name column, street, city, state, zip code, and country. So it's kind of picking up that pattern and therefore making those suggestions when I'm trying to update a lead or when I'm trying to create a new lead. And since I'm on the topic of columns, I also wanted to uh, tell you about the fact that this feature does not provide suggestions for all the column types in the database, right? So currently there's only suggestions for choice, text, numeric, and date fields. Uh, so those are the only ones that it's going to provide suggestions for. All right, so now that we understand that, let's now take a look to see where we can enable this. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to the Power Platform Admin Center, right? So that's the first thing you need to do. And then you will need to go to Environments. And then you would need to pick the environment you wanna enable this for. So I'm gonna use my Canada environment and then you need to go to settings and then expand this product section and then we're going to click on features and i'm just going to give it a second here and here it is this is the ai form fill assistance that you can turn on so by default it will show right as users as the features feature becomes available that will be the default setting. And the, what that means is what I said earlier, right? Microsoft is still kind of rolling this out through their different regions. So as the feature becomes available, different users can get access in a different time, basically. Uh, but you can also say, okay, I'm, I wanna click this to all users immediately. Um, so you have an option there to, uh, to do that. And that's really, all that you need to do. You need to make sure obviously to scroll down uh, and hit the save button as well. And uh, that would then activate that or enable that in your environment. Now, again, after I enabled it, it wasn't immediately visible in my model driven app in Dynamics 365. So what I ended up doing is exactly what I said earlier, right? I created those uh, lead records. You have to do like five or six, maybe seven. And then all of a sudden when I clicked on a new lead record, um, it actually started to, uh, to fill in that data. But obviously you can also use this on model driven apps that are, that, that is something that you've custom built. So this is an example of that, right? This is just a model driven app that I've built. You can see here, here are my active business owners. I can just go ahead and create a new one. And there you go. There's only the annual revenue field because that was the same for everybody. But you can see here that it works in the, uh, the custom model driven apps as well. And of course, it is generally available for model-driven apps. Um, currently for the Power Apps or Canvas Apps, I just wanna say, uh, this is currently in preview. So same functionality, just a preview functionality. I think this is actually gonna be a, a nice feature, especially if you know there's a lot of the same data that we might enter in here. So I, uh, yeah, I really like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.